What's up guys, it's Jason and I'm back in the studio with the Palette 2 and today we're going to hook this thing up to my 3D printer and show you guys what it might be like for a new user to actually hook this up to their 3D printer and get it going. Now, let me go ahead and tell you guys that Mosaic Manufacturing after the Palette Plus reached out to me and asked for feedback on the Palette Plus. And after that feedback, we developed a relationship and they asked me, hey, would you be willing to, to work with us on uh, the new Palette 2? And I was like, absolutely. And so after many discussions, back and forth emails, we thought it'd be better that since I'm new to 3D printing that I could take this product and show you guys what someone that is new to 3D printing can do with this with very minimal, I guess, experience. So it was really difficult for me because I was really heavy into my 3D printing and I pretty much cut everything off once they asked me to do this and kind of went silent. So now that I'm back, I kind of am so excited to get this thing going. If you guys saw the unboxing, I apologize if it was long, but that video may not have been for you. It's for those people that are new to it. So 3D printing is not scary, guys. 3D printing with multi-material, multi-color is not scary. It is not. It takes a little setup, but you can do it. I'm very, very limited in my 3D uh, printing experience, and I'm going to show you that it's not that difficult. So let's check this thing out. From the above angle, I'm going to turn this thing so you guys can see. This thing, even though it's very simple in a way, this is going to change the way that you guys look at 3D printing and how you can create a very finished product. There's a lot of guys out there that 3D print and finish their, their 3D prints by sanding and printing and all that. This is going to allow us to get a very finished product with very minimal, I guess, finishing after. So what do we need to do this? Let's get some colors. I'm going to pick four. So I've got green. Boom. I have green. You can't see it. I have yellow and I have black and I have purple so these are all mosaic manufacturing's colors with these four colors I'm going to print a keychain for you guys today this is the calibration print that you'll do pretty much every one of you guys when you start setting up your your palette plus so I'm actually in my studio. Welcome, guys. I'm going to set this palette 2 up in here. Uh, this is my 3D studio printing area. Um, I actually have two CR10Ss, uh, which is, they're actually right behind you. But if you can see to this side, I have a, a Monoprice Price Maker Select Plus, which is my very first 3D printer that I bought, which is a direct drive as opposed to my Bowden fed um, CR10Ss. I find and this is just me. If you guys are looking into getting into this palette two and multicolor, multi-material printing, I would suggest possibly going with direct drive just because it seems like with my palette plus, that was how I got a little bit more success. I didn't have that long Bowden tube to deal with and some of the, I guess the transition links can be a little bit tricky if you don't have numbers exact. So, I'm going to actually show you guys what I've got going here and uh, kind of talk you through what I have here. I've got my four colors here. I've actually put together, this is included in your box. This is your spool holder, which is way different than the Palette Plus. You guys, this came actually in the box. You put this together and it holds all four spools and you can mount it to the wall as you guys saw in my unboxing video. So basically, let's go ahead and put these filaments on and let's get this thing going. If you need a, a silica gel pack, I'm, I'm giving them away. So I would say, you know, get as close to, to, to wherever you're going to print and do that. Now, what I'm going to do right now is actually load the, uh, you know, load the, the filament. And I will go ahead and tell you that when you first do this, you want to actually do what's called the actual let it make filament. It calibrates the uh, the uh, pallet too and, and lets it make some filament for you. So that's what I'm going to do right now. 
So I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but when you let your palette two kind of make filament for the first time, I would say do that first, just so you know it's ready to go. And uh, you go into your settings, which is in the bottom left-hand corner, hit that, go to calibrate print, and this says this mode will calibrate palettes internal filament measurement systems, and that's how you're gonna load your four filaments in and let it make filament and uh, that's going to basically set up your initial measurements for you. Now, let me show you what that looks like. So once you go through your, your uh, allow it to make filament, you're going to get whatever colors you end up using. It's going to basically splice uh, your filaments together. All right, guys, so I've actually gone on into uh, Canvas, and I've uh, created a, I guess, a triple of the mosaic keychain, and I'm going to print that. As you can tell from uh, the transition tower, I've actually decreased the size of that just a little bit. And I've, I've seen where if you print more than one thing, especially with the transition tower, it seems to be a smaller block because it doesn't have to transition as often. And I may be saying that completely wrong, but uh, anyway, I wanna show you guys what that's gonna look like. All right, so you found your multicolor print. You've gone into chroma, you've spliced it, you've sliced it, you've done diced it, you've done everything you need to do. You've added the color, you've set it to the color to the, to the actual parts that you're going to do. You previewed it, it sliced it up, it tells you how long it's going to take, and then you get two files. One, you're going to put on your uh, your palette 2, uh, which is the MAF file, and the other is a G-code, which is going to go on your 3D printer. You're going to plug these in, make sure you put them in the right one. So this is going to my model price maker select plus, and then one into the mosaic palette 2. I keep messing up because I've got a palette plus sitting over there. So we're going to hit start print, and then it's going to say, it's going to give you the option to pick canvas or the SD card. I'm picking the SD card, so I've clicked the mosaic keychain. It is initializing my palette too. Okay, now it's telling me to give it a second. It's telling me to remove the tube and pull out any filament that might be there. Okay, I don't have any in there, so I'm good to go. I'm gonna place this back in there, and I'm gonna say finished. And now it says insert black. So I am going to start filling in. All right, it's loading in yellow. Good to go. Now it's saying wait for the palette two to make filament. All right, so it's almost done. What do you guys think of my nano nano leaves up there? I think it looks pretty good. Um, it may be a little crooked. I think I'm gonna have to adjust it, but whatever. All right, so it says feed filaments into your printer's extruder gear. All right, so there it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm placing this into my extruder. I've already got my little, uh, my little uh, direct feed uh, mosaic uh, Velcro strip onto the top of my direct feed. And I'm basically just going to go ahead and start pushing that in. And it is feeding my filament in. I'm kind of helping it go through. Now with the Model Price Baker Select Plus, you hit filament and hit load filament. And basically it heats it up to like 200 something degrees. Uh, Celsius and it allows it to kind of start melting. Now, this is the interesting part. It's, it's kind of a game because you want this to be exact. So as it's filling it, it's saying feed filament into your printer's extruder gear. Okay, when it gets really close, you're going to see a little thing pop up. Okay. And it's going to tell you Basically, to load it in, it says stop loading in 27 millimeters, 25, 24, 22. All right, so it's telling you when to actually stop loading filament. And you can't see it, but as it's doing this, my 3D printer is extruding filament. Look at that. All right, so we're going to make sure that we stop at the right point, we're going to hit the back button right when we get there, two, one. 
It says stop loading, finish. It says start the press. So I guess uh, you know, uh, you know, you saw the the time lapse. You guys saw a sped up video of what it looked like. So you can already tell the things that I guess I worried about uh, with the the palette plus was that uh, transition links were things I had to play around with to get things right. I didn't have those with the palette too. I didn't have those at all. Matter of fact, I hooked this thing up. All I did was let it make some filament to calibrate its filament splicing. I uh, connected the Teflon tube to my 3D printer. I mean, and pretty much that was it. Once I got in and created the model that I wanted and put it in together and saved the two files, put one card in one of the, in my uh, palette tube, put the other one in my 3D printer, and just let it run. And uh, I will tell you this, Printing multiple things if you're doing a smaller print, so if you're doing a keychain, if you're doing uh, little tags or anything like that, I would definitely say doing multiples is the way to go because it just really saved. I mean, the transition tower is was really small considering I did, you saw the video, I did three uh, mosaic keychains and the transition tower just wasn't that big. It was a little bit longer and things like that, but the colors started right when they were supposed to. But as you can see, or I hope you can see, I mean, it consistently hits the colors it's supposed to hit. The only reason it looks like there's any kind of, of, uh, of uh, I guess, uh, bleeding or running into the other colors, which is very minimal, the only reason is, is because it only lays down like two layers of filament, and I think the filament that I'm using, I keep dropping them, is just, it's not very, it's not a bold color. So when you're doing bolder colors, you won't have that. But honestly, I think it's just because uh, these filaments are a little bit lighter than the black that's underneath it. I, I don't think there's really, I don't even see any, any spillage onto the colors. Like the purple doesn't go into the yellow, the yellow's not going into the green. And so, this is just a killer, killer, tool for you guys that are 3D printing and are want to get finished products out there. You know, um, I'm going to leave this one set up to my Monoprice Maker Select uh, Plus and then I'm just going to have it bust out a few things. I've actually got a project I'm doing for a friend. I'm going to print those up tonight and so you'll be seeing those on my Instagram. So pretty much this video is done. I hope it's not too long. I know that's a big complaint for a lot of people. You know, apparently people's attention span is uh, it's just not that long and my videos can tend to be a little bit long but I'm long-winded what can I say you can always fast forward it or you can just not watch the video I don't know to tell you but anyway thank you guys for watching if you want to subscribe uh, feel free to do that hit the notification bell so you know when new uh, content comes up and uh, anyway be looking on my Instagram for updates on this that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed it check your next video